guys and girls, in this video we're going to take a look at the best laptops for coders. I made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion, and I've listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for an entry-level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the coder's laptops in the video, just subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave a comment with a hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5,000 likes. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best laptops for coders on the market right now. Coming in number 10, we've got the Google Pixelbook Go. Thinking of what Chromebook money can buy right now, Google's Pixelbook Go is your go-to laptop, a fantastic laptop for programming, coming with a more affordable price tag than its predecessor. The Pixelbook, Google's latest Chromebook still packs plenty of premium features the original came with, including amazing battery life, and one of the best keyboards we've used on a laptop, an important consideration when looking for a laptop for programming in. Sure, it doesn't use Windows 10, instead it runs Chrome OS, but for most programmers, especially web developers, this won't be an issue. You can install Linux on this thing as well, which makes it an even more versatile laptop for programming. Number 9. Microsoft Surface Pro 7 if you're looking for a less expensive 2-in-1 to use when working in what passes for mobile fashion these days, shutting from room to room instead of airport to airport, the Pro 7 is the go-to in its category for a reason. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 improves on one of the best 2-in-1 laptops around with strong 10th gen Intel performance and a long overdue USB-C port. But Microsoft's flagship detachable hasn't evolved significantly over the Surface Pro 6, and its battery life takes a step back from the previous gen model. The Surface Pro 7's sharp display, ample power, and excellent optional type cover keyboard make it one of the best laptops you can buy if you want a detachable. But if you can live without USB-C and the latest Intel CPUs, you can get the Surface Pro 6 for much less. While the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 did not reinvent its Windows tablet predecessors when it launched in 2019, but instead iterated on a time-tested design by delivering better performance and adding a USB-C Type port. Coming at number 8, HP NV13 The new HP NV13 is a great pick for programmers looking for a stylish yet dependable laptop to work on. HP recently made big changes to this popular 13-inch laptop by reducing the size and weight. Coupled with a high-quality touch-sensitive display, it's both powerful and super portable. It's also overhauled the body of the laptop, giving it a luxurious all-metal design that gives this laptop a beautiful premium look and feel, while also protecting it from knocks and bumps. It certainly earns the Envy Monkeyer, Use this in an office, and you'll be getting appreciative glances from your coworkers. Coming at number 7, Dell Inspiron 14 5482. Inspiron 14 5482 2 in 1 is for people who need a multimedia creation tool on the go and don't want to pay a premium price for that. Dell wants its users to be bold and explore every feature of the device. That sounds cool, but there is just one thing. Every manufacturer says the same thing for their 2-in-1 notebook. However, you can use the Dell Inspiron Active Multi-Touch Magnetic Turbo Pen with its amazing screen for 45 hours straight just on battery power. Put it head-to-head -head with its Lenovo and Asus competitors, and you will discover that 2-in-1 laptops have the power not only to be portable computers for you, but at the same time, they provide you with an additional input device, the screen. The Inspiron 14 5482 2-in-1 has everything of the aforementioned, and it also features the new Intel ULV CPUs, Core i7-8565U. It is the same chip 
but can push its maximum speed up to 4.6 gigahertz. So if you're looking to multitask or have programs that demand a bit more power, including graphics editing, I would certainly recommend at least an i5 processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM. But for the price, you can go up to 24 gigabytes and an i7 on the Inspiron 5000 without really breaking the bank. Number six, Huawei MateBook 14. Huawei MateBook 14 is a laptop designed for the go. The precision craftsmanship shines through both the sleek, elegant appearance and the solid metal build. Weighing just 1.49 kg, 8 and 15.9 millimeters thin, it's ideal for zipping off for the weekend or taking on that next business trip. The high precision multi touch screen allows for a fully intuitive interface between you and Huawei MateBook 14. Just like your phone, you can select, zoom, and scroll all using your fingers. Swipe down with three fingers to capture a screenshot and have any writing converted into text format for convenient copying and editing. Ever since the first MateBooks arrived with strong specs and an attractive, if familiar, aesthetic, Huawei has been steadily refining the design and building up a range of laptops that are competitive at almost every price point. Oh, and in case you were worried, yes, the MateBook 14 runs Windows 10, and you can access Google just fine. Coming in at number 5, Dell XPS 15. The Dell XPS 15 is in our view of one of the best laptops for programming right now. As with previous XPS laptops, this 15-inch beauty combines a stunning design, excellent build quality, and some of the most powerful mobile components you'll find in a laptop. It's thin and light, which not only means this looks and feels like a premium laptop for programming, but it's also comfortable to carry around with you as well. Its high-resolution 15.6-inch display is great for working on, and with high-end, the Dell XPS 15 can compile code incredibly fast, making it ideal for programmers. Plus, if you go for a model with a GPU by NVIDIA, you can test out your games while coding them. Perhaps best of all, its battery life is excellent, which means you don't have to be tethered to a desk if you want to use this powerful laptop. Coming in number 4, Asus Chromebook Flip C436F C436FA When you start with a premium portable, like the Asus Chromebook Flip C436F, you might perhaps be missing out on a couple of key features that make a Chromebook a Chromebook, namely affordability and longevity. The best Chromebooks, especially premium ones, occupy a space of their own on the market. While they're typically pricier and have a shorter battery life, they offer more robust processing and graphical prowess than their cheaper siblings, as well as higher quality construction. Essentially, they offer another option to consumers who want the security and lightweightness of the Chrome OS environment. And the Asus Chromebook Flip C436F is a perfect example of that, or at least a dare near perfect example. Number 3. LG Gram 17 When you pick up a 17-inch laptop like the LG Gram 17, you're likely experiencing a device that is packed with the most powerful hardware on the market, while simultaneously being big, bulky, and heavy. Well, what if we told you that none of that is true about the LG Gram 17? If you want to get your hands on the LG Gram 17, it'll set you back $1,749. For a 17-inch laptop with a Core i7 processor, 16GB of RAM, and 1TB of SSD storage, not to mention the 1600p display, that's quite a bargain. Comparatively, the HP NV17 is cheaper at $1,399, but that's with single-channel RAM with its closest hardware configuration and a much heavier 6.02-pound build, twice the weight of the LG Gram 17. The laptop is packed with a top-end Intel Core i7, 1065G7, but it's configured down to a 15-watt TDP, down from the 25-watt that you'll find in some more powerful configurations. To further hamper the maximum performance of this processor, LG has a pretty lightweight cooling solution on hand, which stops it from boosting quite as high as something like the Surface Book 3. Coming at number 2, Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Laptop 
When laptop makers put extreme in the name of a product, it's a strong indication that this design will be spectacular in at least one or more aspects. But the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme pushes the performance boat out on almost every front, combining an 8th generation Intel Core i7 CPU with an NVIDIA Max Q GPU and wrapping up the gift in a carbon fiber and aluminum case. On paper, this is the laptop that performance users dream of, but does it live up to the hype and the price? The X1 Extreme is available in most regions, although the specific models may vary. An entry-level notebook costs $1,673 and has a Core i5 CPU, no discrete GPU, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of NVMe storage, and a 1080p non-touch display. The review specification hardware costs $2,834, but has the full range of hardware goodies. While this isn't a machine that will be bought by those who are price sensitive, but there is a substantial amount of high quality technology crammed into this laptop. That makes it worth all the money put into it. Number 1. HP Spectra X360 2021 the HP Spectra X360 2021 2-in-1 laptop had a big refresh for 2021, and the boost in specs with 11th generation Intel Core processors and Intel Iris XE graphics, along with the impeccable 2-in-1 design and pristine gem cut chassis, means that this version is at the top of our best laptops for programmers list. The HP Spectra line has always consisted of stunning devices, so, when we say that the Spectra X360 takes things to another level, that should mean something. Not only is this one of the most beautiful laptops in the market right now, with its gem cut design and sleek profile, but it's tough on the inside. HP fitted this with impressively long battery life, which means you're getting one of the best laptops on the market, hands down. As such, it's also the best laptop for programming right now. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best laptops for coders. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.